What's up guys, this is IFBB Pro Kevin Jordan here, Team GAT Athlete. We're down here in downtown Chicago, Quads Gym, We're about to get a workout in. This is the Nitroflex, this is a pre-workout. It's a uh, pre-workout drink, but it's also a testosterone booster. Favorite supplement. Energy is a lot better. Uh, my intense, my workouts are a lot more intense, and it's just been more beneficial adding them into my regimen. I'm really trying to focus on bringing up other body parts like my legs and my back, but uh, the arms seem to be a strong point. So I'm gonna kind of show you some things that I do for them, give you guys some tips, suggestions that will help you out. Generally, I think most people overtrain their arms. It's a smaller muscle group. I get asked all the time, what do you do, what do you do? And I really don't train them that hard um, because they're getting a lot of work with your bigger body parts like your chest, back, shoulders, things like that. So I think sometimes people actually overtrain them when they want them to grow a little bit. So anybody looking to uh, get big arms, I would say do three exercises, about four sets. That's generally what I do for each muscle, for the biceps and the triceps. And I like to work the muscles out together sometimes too. So today what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna start with triceps, or we're just gonna go back and forth, triceps, biceps. All right, three exercises, four different sets. So every now and then we might throw some drop sets in there, things like that, just to get a good pump. But uh, usually it's just straight sets. So we're gonna start with some press downs. Okay, so now we're gonna move over to the next group, which is gonna be uh, dumbbell overhead extensions and uh, dumbbell curls. So you guys gotta bear with me, I'm a little under the weather, but I like to move at a fast pace. I don't think you should be in the gym training arms two hours, that's a little ridiculous. So like I said, feeling a little weak, but uh, I'm gonna get a good pump in. All right, so we just finished up the second group, which was an overhead press, overhead extension, tricep extension, and uh, alternating dumbbell curls. Got a nice little pump, so I'm gonna finish off with one last group, which will just be uh, almost like a reverse grip tricep extension, and then we're gonna do uh, some machine creature curls. Finish up, get a good little pump, and get out of here. Uh. Like I said earlier, I'm not necessarily a weightlifter, but you know that's where I got the basics from was through sports. And one mistake I see people make uh, is not knowing the difference between wanting to build muscle and wanting to build strength. Um, coming from an athletic background, it's a totally different ball game as far as uh, the amount of reps, number of sets that you do. You know, for bodybuilding, we need a lot more volume. And the main mistake I see people making is uh, lifting too heavy, um, not using proper form, or just not doing enough. A lot of athletes are, in particular are kind of set in their ways, so it's it's hard for them to get out of that. You know, as being, being a bodybuilder, you have to almost be a creature of habit as far as the, uh, the workouts and how things go. Obviously, you want to mix up the variables, but for the most part, everything's sort of the same. <sighs> <sighs> That's it. Great workout. Like I said, get a good pump, get in, get out. We started off rope press down cable curl superset. From there, we went to an overhead tricep extension, alternating dumbbell curls, and then we finished up with some uh, isolation moves. Reverse grip tricep extension, machine preacher curl. It's good enough for me, like I said, so I wanna keep pushing things, but with the arms, you don't wanna do too much. So we got a good workout in, time to go. I wanna thank Muscular Development, my sponsor GAT for getting me out here, Quads Gym Chicago, getting a great arm workout. Until next time.